In this video, we are going to explore a toolkit of strategies designed for effectiveness and efficiency by Pro Sport Development. Join us as we unlock the potential of sports and physical activities as catalysts for the inculcation of 21st century skills. This video serves as a roadmap to empower, inspire and shape the leaders of tomorrow. This video aims to provide practical demonstrations of curated tools developed by Pro Sport Development. This is the second video of the series and we are going to discuss the second tool, Game Delivery Protocol. Facilitators can use this 8-step game delivery plan to make sports and activities fun and educational for young participants. These guidelines help develop important skills for the 21st century. By following these steps, facilitators create an exciting experience that helps participants learn while being active. Remember, the facilitator can adapt, change or modify the protocol to suit the situation. The first step is to gather the necessary equipment based on the setup for that specific activity. The next step is to organize everyone into groups or teams. The number of teams depends on the requirements of the activity and the total number of participants. Ensure inclusivity, meaning each group should have people of different genders and abilities. This step is all about explaining the rules of the activity to participants, covering everything in detail, including how the game works and how to play it. Time for step 4. This step includes the implementation of the activity and ensuring everyone's participation. The facilitator should keep an eye on how everyone's doing, give them constructive feedback and encourage and motivate them. The facilitator can also jot down observations on paper for a little post-activity feedback. Now, let's move on to the next step, step 5. This part is super important. The facilitator has to connect what they just did with the big goal of learning the 21st century skills. The facilitator should ask some questions like, how did you act during the game? What did you learn? Any ideas on doing things differently? Now, on to the sixth step. This step involves increasing the level of intensity or difficulty of the activity to challenge the participants and push them beyond their comfort zone. Progressions are like upgrades that help participants improve their strategies and learn even more. The facilitator can change things to make the game more interesting. They might tweak the rules, the play area or the equipment like using bigger or smaller balls. Now, on to the final steps 7 and 8. The last step involves gathering the participants and recapping the activity by asking them relevant questions. The facilitator should motivate the participants to take lessons from the activity and apply them in their daily lives. As we conclude this practical demonstration in our step-by-step -step instructional video, we've unveiled the power of the game delivery protocol. From boosting engagement to fostering progression and the development of 21st century skills, this protocol is the key to unlocking a world of benefits in sports activities.